Well, good morning everyone. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. What we're gonna be doing is pretty urgent. We keep losing baby chicks, our meat birds. Uh, just the other day we lost 11 because the water uh, kept overflowing. Well, slowly and every day, every time we do morning chores, there's another bird dead. Uh, so we gotta move them. We're gonna move them outside today. So I gotta get the tractor supply and get some material. This is actually the earliest we've ever done chicks. And we're trying to get a jump start on the season. A jump start of putting food in our refrigerator, freezer I mean. And also a jump start on getting food to some customers. So that's why we started early. So it's still a little cold. Today's supposed to hit 70, but it's rainy and we're supposed to get some more high winds, which the other day was nuts. Our trampoline got destroyed. So what we're gonna be doing is I'm gonna hit up tractor supply. I'm gonna get a couple more heat lamps. I'm gonna end up putting the birds out in our, um, was, I think it's five by 10 chicken tractor right here. This triangle one, because this one is super heavy, not crazy heavy, not as big as the 10 by 10 that we got here. Uh, but this didn't move in the storm. I'm gonna end up doing, as I'm gonna get, end up getting four heat lamps and just put them up here. That way they have enough. I mean, it is 100 birds, so they're gonna have enough for them, but I wanna spread them out. Uh, that way they're not just clumped up on each other. Because that's what one of the problems we're having is when they're drinking water, there's so many drinking that water is spilling, which is getting the wood chips wet. And since they're in those pools, the water has nowhere to go. And we've been replacing the wood chips pretty much every day. I'm not replacing, adding them. And it's just, it's just becoming a mess. And overall, we're losing birds. So that's what I'm gonna do. You know, farming is taking risks and it stinks, but you know, we're not buying animals or buying chicks just to lose them. So we want to try to correct it. And this is what we're going with. I mean, we could do a third pool. We're still running the same issue that we're having with the water, with them getting wet and cold and then bundling up and then smothering each other. So I'm gonna hit up tractor supply, get that extra heat lamp. Um, I think I actually need two. So I wanna do the four, that way it spreads them all out. But I'm gonna hit up that, and then we're gonna end up uh, transporting over there. I think we've lost 15 to 20 birds so far. Uh, I'm gonna give them a count. We didn't count them at first. Uh, so we ordered 100, normally get an extra bird here and there to uh, they shipping, puts in an extra bird. That way, if you do lose one in transport, you still have your hundred. Uh, a lot of hatcheries do that, but that's where we're at today. Missy, still no baby. Our garden's going good. Uh, the onions are growing real good. Andrana's got some Swiss chard and kale starting to sprout too. And stuff that Chris planted as well is growing. So everything's going good. It's still real early but things are moving. We gotta get this chicken thing under control though. Tractor Supply, absolutely my favorite store. You can run in here, get what you need, and just bounce. They have excellent help. What a place you can get. Lawn mowers, fruit trees, seeds, any type of farmer equipment. They are everywhere also. Here we go, right away. Let's go to the chicken section. It's awesome when they have the chicks, because everything's right here, right in front of the store. I mean, they got everything. Chick starter, the lamps, the lights. They also pick up, they got some ducks today. But I think this is all we need. I also need to find some bulbs. I don't see any on the rack. We got the light bulbs. The last thing I need is get these chickens nice and warm and dry. And also some fresh grass. That's what we're going to be doing as well. So. Have you guys been busy? We have been. Yeah. yeah. Today, not so much yet. Um, I think just because of the rain. Super quick one stop shop. Got the bulbs and lamps. Let's get going home. Everyone's super friendly in there today. 
Just returned from Tractor Supply. I mean, it's not that far away from the house. It's just five minutes right over the mountain. Um, I was actually pretty impressed with myself. They actually had uh, turkeys there, and I didn't get any because of the situation that we're in now with these with these meat birds. Uh, we definitely need to fix this problem before we get into another adventure. I mean, we've had turkeys before in the past. Uh, just right now, I think it'd be a little bit too much um, on our plate because we want to be good at one thing before we move to the next. Right now, I gotta move this tractor out on the pasture and I gotta find some level ground because the chicks are still small. I mean, they're about two weeks old, a week and a half. So if, if it's not flat, they still might be able to squeeze through underneath. We don't wanna lose any birds because of that. The other thing I might do is just run them along this fence right here. Looks like pretty level grass. Since I'm hooking up these heat lamps, I'm gonna need some access to some electricity. So I don't wanna go too far in the pasture. So that's probably what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna set it up a little bit down, that way I can move them. That way they get some fresh grass still. I mean, because, I mean, everything is greening up. Look at how beautiful our pasture is. Even our lawn, everything is greening up. There's buds in the trees. I mean, flowers are growing. It's a good time of year. The birds, it's beautiful out. What do you guys think? You guys already ate today, so they probably think I'm bringing more feed. Yeah. But we've gotten some wicked rain. Everything is pretty wet right now. We've had some rain last night. So, I don't know. I mean, there's always risk with farming, but is the reward worth the risk? I mean, farming with everything, you're taking a chance with your garden. You don't know if you're gonna, you know, your crop is gonna grow, animals, health. So everything is a risk every year. I mean, nothing is guaranteed, just like in life. So you gotta take a chance. You can't just let, you can't just let things die the way they're going. So this is what, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set this up, I'm trying to find some flat ground right now. I actually changed my mind up. I got enough extension cord to reach out here. And once they're out here, they're gonna be out here. So might as well not mess up this. I mean, it would be good fertilizer, of course. But just making the turn with these birds could be difficult. Now we'll end up splitting these up between a few tractors um, as they get bigger. So it's not like we're gonna have all whatever, how many we got right now. I'm hoping we at least have, hoping 75. I mean, like I said, I think we're at like 15 to 20 birds lost. I mean, at least 15, because every day it seems like I'm pulling out a dead bird. Which is not good. So I'm actually setting it up the opposite way that we normally do because we're supposed to get some high winds again. And I want the winds to come down off the mountain, just come right down and just reflect right off the tractor. Uh, I don't want the wind, if we had it going up and down, I don't want the wind to come underneath here and get picked up like a sail, just like happened to our trampoline. The other thing I'm gonna do, which I'm kinda not uh, banking on, is I'm actually gonna take some of the trampoline stakes and put them, put them on here as well. Uh, you know, like I said, I'm not, banking on those because they did nothing for the trampoline but might as well try and you know it is what it is i guess but i'm hoping that just reflection the wind reflecting off that will help because it was over here the same angle and it didn't move on the day that the trampoline got destroyed i'm going to set up those lamps i'm going to do four just like set up in a square and I'm going to check up on Juliana and the boys and see what homeschooling is like. Maybe they can help move them. Oh. 
the right all set up. It actually looks like electrician's nightmare. However, I've never ran four lights in one tractor before, but it's gonna do good. I mean, I'm hot right now, so I am looking forward to getting the birds in here, getting them on some fresh grass, and keeping them alive. How many birds do you have now? I don't know, buddy, I, I gotta count them. Let's go check up on Mama, though. Guys, I wanna give you a quick update uh, things have changed. It absolutely opened up here with rain and wind. So what I'm actually going to do is basically just undo all the lighting setup that I just did. And I'm going to end up just splitting up these. I found a cardboard box that I can put them in. And I don't think it's a great idea to bring out the chicks in this rain and wind right now. Because, I mean, they need to do, we need to do something. Um, I am a little frustrated that I just set that all up. I mean, it opened up. I went inside. It was nice. Checked up on uh, Adriana homeschooling. And I knew it was going to be windy. Uh, Chris ended up saying the wind and his concerns regarding it. Uh, and I came outside and it just absolutely started opening up. So, I'm actually just going to just gonna switch it up, man. Uh, that's what's cool about farming. And that's what I love about farming is I don't think there's always a right answer. Uh, it's almost like a damn if you do, damn if you don't. What's up, buddy? You enjoying the rain? So, I don't think there's one piece of the puzzle. Uh, you know, you just have to roll with the punches, do what you can do, and see what happens. I mean, as soon as I, after I got done talking, it opened up. So, that's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm gonna real quick tear everything down and set everything up. We are actually moving to Plan C. Gianna came out to help me uh, because it is crazy rainy right now. You helping too? Yeah. We're actually going to be moving the chicken tractor in here. We're going to put some cardboard down and some wood shavings. And that way they get more space and they're going to stay warm. They're going to stay dry because that's the overall goal of what we want. So we got some stuff to do because Gianna has a, a homeschool meeting at noon. And time is crunching, so we gotta move and get this stuff cleared out. We gotta move the tractor and move some random stuff because this is piling up. I got it rolling now. Oh spot right now. What are you doing? I think it was a little less noisy. There was no kids out in the pasture. You guys having fun? So we got everything all reset up now. I put all four lights back in. I mean, we combined three ideas into one. That's what's awesome about working together. 
teamwork makes the dream work. Uh, we got a bigger area for them. It's gonna be a lot drier, and it keeps them out from the weather. Uh, as soon as I got done talking with Chris, like I said, it just opened up. So it probably wasn't, wouldn't have been the best idea to transport them even out to the tractor. So we just moved everything inside, and we'll probably leave them in here for a few days because uh, we gotta get our money's worth out of these chips. We dumped the entire bag in here. What we ended up doing is end up putting the cardboard underneath the wood chips. That way, uh, the coldness from the concrete won't affect the birds. And like I said, we got four heat lamps in here. So they're gonna be nice and toasty. And you know, this is not what I expected uh, to happen when I went to Tractor Supply this morning. Thanks, hon. Uh, however, you know, it worked out. The, the main goal, is to keep these chicks alive, dry, and happy because, you know, a dead bird does nothing for us. And, you know, we, we've lost that 11 in one batch and every time we come out here, it seems like another bird has died. Because the overall goal is to keep these birds alive and <laughs> until they get onto our dinner plate. Well, I really appreciate you guys tuning in today. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your lives to watch ours and please if you haven't hit that subscribe button if you like this video leave me a thumbs up and don't be afraid to leave some comments let me know if you guys think I'm crazy or what uh, I mean it's it's porn right now so just bringing these birds outside into the pasture definitely wouldn't have been a great idea because they would just been soaked and all right girls all right well I'm gonna let, let you guys go I'm gonna finish putting these chicks in here and we'll see you guys around Hit that subscribe button.